Of course. I guess it could be cow. Big rabbit. Huge. <laughs> the rabbit of Keir Banog. <laughs> Day two, trench 14. We're in the refectory of the Abbey. We've been asked to sink a trench um, in the refectory. Um, we want to understand the archaeology within the building. We want to understand the bioturbation and the effect it has on the archaeology. As you can see, there are plenty of rabbit holes in there. It's presenting us with quite a lot of difficulties, as you can see. Um, but we want to record um, what, what the rabbits have been doing because then we can understand the sort of problems that the archaeology has uh, in relationship with the rabbits. So here we are at the bottom of the Abbey with Glenn and Tom from AB Heritage and we've been doing geophysics in this eastern field. That's the field where we saw the parch mark from the kite in 2013. Potentially an infirmary building here, potentially another courtyard and we've finally got the results. Glenn, what do you find? Um, yeah, so we've basically gone ahead and, and done some magnetometer survey across the area um, and so what we found is mainly is we found a precinct ditch. Um, so we found the original precinct ditch and then also we found some of the features of the abbey that are coming out um, which I think you believe is the possible infirmary isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. If it's an abbey that's like all the other abbeys that we know of and um, that are very much like IKEA uh, buildings you've got to build them in a the right way and a wrong way. This this part of the, of the site is exactly where we would find an yeah. infirmary building. Um, yeah so I mean what we've done is um, we've gone out probably about 60 meters from the boundary itself and um, uh -huh. we've done a survey and we found that we've come across some building areas areas um, and originally it was trenched in the 80s yes um, and so obviously the, what we're looking for is hopefully we're looking to try and find those trenches yes and then also find the buildings that those trenches have cut through absolutely so that's really impressive this line comes through we can see the original 1985 excavation um, done by Brian Kerr and he found what he put in as this dotted line which he thought was the precinct ditch so that's taking a return from the bottom of the site running all the way up the field and he put his three trenches in found the ditch in one side but also these enigmatic buildings these yep. um, plant built wooden buildings which very much look like our infirmary so that's fantastic that means that we we can now actually place in our trenches 16 and 19, bang on top of his original trenches yep. and see what's been happening to that over the last 20 years as this field's been under the plough. So it's the afternoon of day two at the south end of the abbey. We are in trench 21 just now. Uh, we are taking down the topsoil and we're starting to come up with some finds such as this wonderful key, perhaps even the key to the gatehouse of the abbey, maybe, we will see. Uh, other things that we found include some uh, roof tiles, ceramic building material, uh, oyster shells, uh, lots of animal bone. So it's all kicking off down at the south end of the abbey and we'll see what we get next. So this is trench 14 which we've been working on for two days now, so it's the end of the second day, or towards the end of the second day. Um, you can see it's a very lumpy surface and it's not anything to do with our trolling and I just want to tell that to Raksha <laughs> because uh, this mainly is rabbit burrow and they've burrowed deeply into this and they've been everywhere apart from through the wall I think. Um, so we, yeah, um, yesterday and this morning we were taking off uh, the subsoil and we did it in quarters 
Um, and we sieved each separately and took the fines out and kept them separate. So they've gone up to uh, Rita and Anna up at the fines barn. This afternoon um, we've been trying to clear back because you can see the orange um, layer. So we've been cleaning back the darker layer on top of it. Um, just to try and define where the orange layer is because obviously the rabbits have you know caused havoc in there um, So Jules is just cleaning back along the walls now to make those uh, a bit clearer um, We're cleaning up the loose now, and then we're going to take uh, some fo more photos and do some levels on it um, and then tomorrow we'll go through that orange layer which is layer three in this trench and see what's uh, underneath that. So, end of day two. I'm shattered. I shouldn't be this tired at the beginning, um, but we've done a fierce amount of work. Mm. It's crazy. Mm. The venturers have been cleaning back all the trenches that we've been opening at the bottom. We've just finished trenching these two. We've got two left to open, but I think we'll save those for later in the week. Yeah, I mean that's just that they're all going to they're both going to be hand dug, which is going to be a tremendous amount of effort. And you can see behind me the size of these two trenches that we still have to go at, and these are potentially going to be. Um, the most important trenches on site because this is going to help us evaluate the impact of agriculture on the remains um, here of the abbey of the infirmary so we'll have these trenches on this side and then another one just over the hedge where it won't have been impacted by the plowing and then we'll have some real yes, evidence to go at absolutely we'll be able to cre create a baseline of information that shows what plowing does to archaeology over 20 years these trenches were last opened in 1985 and already we can see those dark plow lines running up yeah. and down the trenches and all we've done really is take off the vegetation there yeah. so we'll really be able to see the impact of that and, and, um, and, and uh, check that with the trench on the other side of the, of the fence that hasn't been ploughed at all. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to finding some. In the, in the hedgerow over there, there's some really chunky, beautiful pieces of worked stone that we just that are just sitting there, and I'm sure they've been yes. picked up and chucked over by the farmer on his yes. you know trips across the field, so yes. I'm looking forward to finding some of that stuff, hopefully in situ. Mm, this bodes well for bodes well, yes. And I'm also hoping that tomorrow we're going to wake up and there's going to be 100% less bugs on site than there are today. I don't know if you've seen in any of the footage people running around like a lunatic, but I know that Indiana Jones did not have to put up with this. That's the old it, Temple just, of Doom though. It's insane! <laughs> Good stuff, let's go. Alright. <laughs> 